How are you doing and how have you been? My name says us to come. We are back for the final days ahead on Rimworld. So we are going to at some point awaken the monolith. Awaken the monolith. Awakening the void monolith will engulf your colony in darkness for days and attract powerful entities. Make sure you're well prepared, stockpile food, building materials and weapons. Make sure your colony is well lit and has ample power. Avoid relying on solar generators. Ensure your colony is well defended and your colonists are ready to fight. Once you awaken the void monolith, there is no going back. Are you sure you want to continue? Absolutely. Right, everyone's brought back, so there and there. The mechs uh, just got free range to do whatever they want. We have got... How many geothermal generators have we got? We've got five up. And we've turned off our expensive buildings. Expensive in the sense of what they require. No going back now, chap. Boom, baby. The sky darkens and a hum fills the air. The monolith begins to awaken. Your actions have attracted the attention of something beyond the human understanding. Soon structures of the void will begin. Manus effect. Manus into reality. Activate the revive. Oh, okay. Activate the arriving void structures to fully awaken the monolith. The first wave will appear shortly. Prepare yourself. The only thing that makes me nervous about this is how many warnings they have everywhere. And this game isn't exactly a um, warning-friendly game. So I'm going to pull my mechs in. The worker mechs, to be more specific. Let's go speed three. We're still forced on speed one at the minute. The void structures... What? Um. Well, that didn't give me any chance. All them metal horrors. Is that a joke? 22 metal horrors. Than them structures. Send a colonist to activate this. And it kills all foliage. Okay. Flesh beast tunnel. Oh god, it's going to attack me with everything, isn't it? Right, my front door is open. Flesh beast tunnel. The monolith has generated a powerful psychic pulse attracting nearby entities beneath the ground. You can hear shrieks. None in my base, right? Just there and there. My vampire we're getting, we're going to lose a couple of worker mechs. I don't think there's much we can do about that. Structures activated. Activate void structures to complete the monolith awakening. I like that the game makes you go outside your comfort zone in the fact like we have to actually leave our base to go sort them out. Oh, are they defending... Well, that is literally teeing me up for a mech threat. So let's go Brook, summon mech threat. We're going to go straight for a war queen. Or you could pulse. I don't want to do the animal pulse yet. Animal pulse is for the shamblers. So we do the war queen because she's the weaker one. They're going to stay and guard that, which means the mech threat is just literally going to walk around. Right, we shut our doors. Oh, look how many are coming out. I totally agree with you, chat, and I need to animal pulse to buy me time. Activate animal pulse to buy me time. The war queen is also summoned. 
I should have summoned the Big Mac frat. Oh, wow, that's a lot. Kaka, kaka. Now I've got your attention, party people. Make sure you like and subscribe. Support your boy. Really appreciate it. Love you. Bye. I shouldn't have done the War Queen. I should have done the bigger frat. I think they're going to smash the War Queen. Might be surprised. It's the metal horrors that I'm very nervous of. Their metal horrors have left that void structure. Okay, the War Queen has arrived. There is a burner, or two centipede burners. So that will help. So the entities are all going, like, this is what I want. I want them to drip freed into the War Queen. And this, why this is really important to do is because you want all these attacks that are going to come my way. I want to have the least amount of damage come my way as possible. So the more I can get other things to deal with it, and then I don't get injured, the better. Right, the centipede burners are going to do work here. Are going to do big, big work here. And the pulse was a good shout, chat. I love... Oh, two War Queens. They're going to do quite well. And again, I need to check on my base. But, like, we're, we're just chilling. The Metal Horrors can be set on fire. Interesting. I would have assumed they wouldn't have been able to. Good to know. War Queen is smashing them. And remember, if she kills all of them, she will then go to get the others. And while this takes its time, the summon mech frat available in 1.8 days. And we're just feet up chilling. We're in a good situation. Speed free. But the fire! The fire hits them and just does them in. Chat, I told you, the mechs are going to win this for me. Summon mech frets are going to win this for me. I'm concerned what's going to happen when I activate these structures. Well, I imagine... So that's the first one, and then that's going to be a portal, I am going to guess. I'm concerned if I take everyone out to activate one of these, that then they're going to get, like, a portal jumped in the same position on top of them. Apparently, I need a squad of incendiary launchers to deal with the enemy. Yeah. Fire wrecks them. Just watching their movement. They are. They're totally aggro now. So we will have to deal with them. The fire wrecked them. Absolutely wrecked them. Like, no. And th that's why, although I didn't do it purposely, that's why on the summon the mech frat, the war queen is the little version. The dolor blah, blah, That's the big boy version. But I think the war queen will do better just because she hides behind our little minions. So, so far, so good. We have cleared one of the structures so we can go do that. And the other structure is going to be clear as well. Void metal mass. That's nothing to worry about, I'm sure. Now, what we do need to be mindful of is any walls getting attacked now. It's obviously not great for us. We don't want to start taking chip damage and not being able to, like, repair ourselves from it. So we do need to be careful of that. But so far, so good. The Metal Horror scared me, the fact that the game chucked that many at us. I'm not going to lie, that scared me a lot. Because this is now the weak point. Oh, they're in, they're in, they're in. They're in. Um, yeah, we'll misplay that. Just need to make sure no one gets hurt.
Let's go speed one. Get Toban out here. With the ciphers. Lock all that up. Right, the name of the game here is to make sure ciphers take more of the damage than our people. Because it's all about that chip damage. Right, if we're picking them off like this, we should do quite well. Right, there we go. Right, so let's push forward. AI at some point will retarget towards me. I'm interested to see what's going to happen with these structures if we don't choose to, like, get rid of them. Uh, here they come. Mac maximum accuracy. Ciphers look pretty good, I'm not going to lie. All right, let's push out this door. Because we can push this advantage. We have enough melee people that we can block anything coming into us. Just got to be careful not to overdo it. Right, there we go. Will they take a few? We do get shards for it, funny enough, which is actually handy. Watch me forget to haul any of them in. This is going to be question of taking everything out but at the same time we need to make sure we're still eating we're still doing all this stuff so i'm gonna continue to push i'm gonna push here you're gonna take the first drug of the day congratulations have a cup of tea because we are actually quite strong and the nice thing about the metal horrors is they're not exactly quick there we go we've just got a shard from the first one said I don't know what's going to happen with leaving these up if they're going to continue to summon stuff in or not the issue here is just culling numbers and then repair the walls and then we go sort the towers out and to repair the walls we do need to get rid of some tuts so I'm going to undraft everyone so everyone's going to come back in this is going to allow everyone just to get some food and stuff like that the geothermal generator has already been penetrated, which is... I don't love. So, let's draft. Wish... Right, drop the kit. Cool. Right, it's the metal horrors I want to get rid of, because they're the ones that keep trying to, like, penetrate my lines. And I don't want to get into melee with them. Even my vampires. Constructor has been built as well. Right, and then there's one down here. We take that out and then we can start setting orders to repair and stuff like that. And then we go. There's enough that I could summon one of the smaller mech threats to deal with it. That's pretty much how I think I'm going to win this. I think the entities are just going to be really... Wait to see what he does. There we go, perfect. Right, I need to get into melee with this, like, immediately. Because this ranged attack is actually nasty. Undraft you. Why do you keep picking up your kid? Stop being a good dad or a good mum. Right, there we go. Right, we're going to go take a couple of these out. There we go, another one dead. Oh, we undraft. See, these final fights would be really... Not easy, but easier if you just ate twisted meat. Alright, Rob's coming down to do that. I need to sort of have an overview like this just so I can see what everyone's doing. 
The ciphers, I don't want wandering everywhere. I don't want them to get picked off. They stay inside. Rob, now he's done that, he stays inside. I don't mind the odd hauler that gets caught out of position. Right, I need secondary walls are going up. Right, and then any of these entities that get close, we're just going to jump on. Which is probably the way to do it. The mechs work, and we jump on any threats that could stop the mechs doing their work. Okay, they're moving away on draft. It keeps our pawns happy and our mechs working. I want that GFL more generator done. Then we've got a couple of wall spots over here that we want to repair. Right, there we go. Dead. He has not caused me any trouble down there. It's been lovely. Right, come back in... Once the third wall goes up, I might summon a little mech threat because there's a lot of entities everywhere. If we can summon a small one just to cull them all, that would actually save us a job, which would be nice. There we go. I'm going to take out that gore hulk up here as well. I'm not letting him get his range shots because they are brutal. Get him into melee and he's actually quite easy. Whatever easy is. This is going to trigger. Oh god, I've still got the non-asphere. It's unstable in one hour. Oh my god, have I just... Oh, that was lucky. That was incredibly lucky. We will... Oh god. We must have been like five seconds away from killing ourselves because I forgot about that non-asphere. Jeez. Right, I've just sent it basically in the far corner. And then we'll see what happens. Everyone's undrafted. Everyone needs food and stuff like that. We might have to slaughter elephants if it gets really bad. Right, let's watch. Hopefully the Nonosphere is killing all the entities. So it's going to slaughter. I'm hoping just because it's all the way up here, it's just going to take too long to actually get down to us. Okay, it's fighting. Onslaught mode is for 45 seconds. Speed 3. I don't like how close it's coming down to me, though. I mean, it's going to work. Did we not repair all this? Two seconds. There we go. It's gone. Okay, okay, okay. Problem averted. Oh, nice shoot. Oh. Right, we'll take this one out. Luckily, we've got very good weapons. So we can, like, slaughter them. Nice, good shooting. Great shooting. Rook. to this area. Repair your lifter, please. And um, have a look at my mech threat situations. We are repairing very nicely, it has to say. It has to be said. Brooke, please do not just stay putting out fires. That is so agitating. No one cares. So glad I saw that. Check that monolith. Sorry, that non-asphere. The this. Okay, so we've got a geothermal generator that has gone down. Looks like to the fire, maybe. Just keeping an eye on that one. So that's why we made so many geothermal generators. So the mech threat we haven't done before. I'm thinking of doing that one. It's just ciphers, a heavy shield. Isn't that a bad... I think that... 
Yeah, I'm going to summon that. And then it will go to all the aggro targets. Which, with all the doors shut, is not going to be me. It's going to be all the anomalies. We will... We might have to abandon that. I'm not 100% sure. Lots of ciphers, which is nice. They're going to go around. Take out a lot of targets. If we have to fight these, it's not a massive problem. But there we go. Then they're going to clean up everything around the map for us. Which is a very kind of them. Keeping them nice and busy. And they're just going to go around the map. And they're going to clean them all up for me. Which is lovely. So then we know our map is absolutely cleared. Currently. Because we do need to send the mechs out to repair stuff. I would like... I'd probably like... The mechs are probably going to win. Which I don't mind. I could run out and turn on a... Um, a tower. I think that's probably a bit silly. There's still some more enemies. We're just chilling. We're just chilling. they will still go around and kill all the entities. Which is what I want. And then we know, at least we're, like, the next level, like, attacks that come, we're on a clean slate, so to speak, where, like, nothing's here. They are losing some. See, so they do have a Resurrector. Lung Rot. Awkward. Losing food. is we do need to go outside to go get all the materials and stuff like that. And the mechs are starting to struggle. But look, ciphers do work on them. Oh, this is a problem. out because all our wooden walls are here so that will literally set fire to them all which would obviously be really bad so I'm just going to draft and draft everyone and they'll all come down and put that out so we need to make sure that's up there we go and that wall gets built at the same time lovely only a few mechs left now so this is why I wanted to use mechs use the mechs for us, then we don't have to do as much. And they should... They're going to lose in a minute. That's a lot of entities that just got taken out there. So, I'm going to grab all my warriors. Drop your kids, please. And then we're going to go out this way. They're going to get aggro onto me in a bit. Maybe not. I'm going to get the ciphers down here because there's, there's quite a few of them. Right, here we go. Right, because a lot of them are down here now, which is absolutely fine. A lot of fighting today. A 
long jump. Can't have that Gore Hulk shooting at us. Our oh, vampire squad. The vampire squad is too strong. The wall of ciphers. Another one dead. We are so strong, party people. So strong. Not tons left. We can probably activate one of the structures in a minute. We'll probably run out to that one and activate it. So more importantly, we can just quickly pop out. Repair what we need to repair. And get back in. And if we keep doing it like this, this is... Like going to be perfect and this is why i wanted mechs with us can we make any more mechs we have got two bam width mech threats are going to be our friends entity is there right that's all repaired lovely job lovely 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 job Order, order a colonist to activate the void structure, Tobum. We have our bums to the walls. Might want to back off a little bit, because I have no idea what's about to happen. I don't know if stuff is going to pop out of here, so obviously if it does. 26 seconds... Seventeen. I like. I have no idea what this even does. About to find out. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Nine. Four. Three. Two. One. Tobin has act finished activating the void structure. Okay, it just says activated. Oh, there we go. Entity attack. The activated void structure has generated a twisted psychic pulse attracting nearby entities. Get ready. Get in, get in, get in. They're coming for us. They're coming for us. We're going to have to fight them. Call aids. Call all the aids. We are in a bad, bad position. But I can't have someone having a breakdown. Right, you're not doing anything yet. Go, Juice. Go, Juice. Deploy. Gun. Shooters start to back off. Start to back off. I can get the vampires out of here. You need to get out. They're getting chased. Vampires jump. Vampires jump. We'll let the ciphers die. That's fine. Shock. Get back, get back, get back. We cannot fight this out here. Ciphers have gone down. Get in the base. My vampires are out. I need to wait until all my shooters get into the base. Right, get out of there, get out of there, get out of there. Good job, good job, good job. Good job, good job, good job, good job. Good job, good job, good job, good job. Keep jumping, keep jumping, keep jumping, keep jumping. Good job. Right, they're in, they're in, they're in. Um, who's got the best mood? Pan, get over here immediately and pulse animals, please. Activate animal pulse. Right, let's jump. Come on, let's get you two out of there. Let's get you two way out of there. All our ciphers are down. The empire's down. There is a lot coming at us. 37 of them. 28. All right, get in, get in, get in. 
animals are about to get pulsed as quickly as we can. All right, they're in the, one of the walls, which is a massive problem. Uh, Pan is going to switch that off. I need everyone else to come over here. I can fight them in the walls. That's no worries whatsoever. I need to make sure people aren't going to break down on me. Because the animal pulse will be from the other side. Get in the inner wall. Get in the inner wall. E, 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 e. More sight stealers. Where are they? Outside, outside, outside. Attacking that, but luckily it's not the geothermal generator that I actually need. Um, right. Toban. I'm going to long jump with him to get to that animal pulse as quickly as I can. Undraft. Activate animal pulse up. Bang animals. Because they're attacking their geothermal power. Which we cannot have going down. All the animals have gone wild. This is absolutely crazy. Brooke, can we summon a mech threat yet? Five hours and then we're summoning the big, big, big mech threat. Because we're in trouble here. They're in, they're in, they're in, they're in. They're in, they're in. They're in. One's in. Okay, one's in, one's in, one's in. Right. Um, animals, you need to start moving when draft now. I need your help. Vampires, go deal with that. Shooters, come in close. We've lost our first constructor mech. We've got our walls destroyed here. Right, they're pounding our walls. And not in the fun way. Two geothermal generators are fine. Three geothermal generators are fine. One's under a lot of stress over there. Elephants are coming in, though. We're just going to have to wait. I need the elephants. There's a big old group of elephants coming down here. Twelve elephants. I need them to start putting the work in. Either distracting them or doing whatever they're going to do. We did lose all of our ciphers, sadly. But they did what we needed to do. I did not expect it to be the numbers that it was. I should have. That's totally my fault. I should have sent one vampire out and I could have jumped them back. But we're here. Right, the elephants are pulling aggro, which is obviously great for us. Two hours, one hour until I can summon the mech threat. And we are summoning the big one. Saying that, a lot of them have died. I might summon the war queen, just to be sure. We have a big, big mech threat that we can summon. The problem is, is if it carves through these too quickly, which I'm, it might do, we are then in big, big trouble. I might summon the war queen. Summon... How big is the War Queen? Two War Queens. Summon the War Queens. Come on, Brooke. Get her in. Get that War Queen in. Sight steal up. Every time they're revealed, I'm panicking that they're going to be in my base. I have seen it before. Right, War Queen is summoned. I need her in. Another geothermal generator is having a bit of pressure there. I need this War Queen to come in yesterday. Uh, they're in, they're in, they're in my base. They're in my base. They're in my base. Come on, everyone. Go, 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 go. Drop your kids. This is terrible. If if the mech threat comes here, we're dead. All my geothermal generators are getting hit at the minute. I need the mech threat over here. Please. Oh, there is a Rimworld God. Here she comes, our saviour. Love ya. Right, my crew is going to come outside to give these mechs enough time to repair all these walls. I want this right flank sorted. Our south flank is taking a beating. We're going to push up, keep an eye on that. The War Queen's going to work for us.
We're pushing up here, being aggressive, because I want to plug all these gaps. Right, we look good over here. Let's get to that south flank immediately. Go, 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 go. War Queen is just sitting there doing work. Ah, oh, not right through that way. Not through that way. That's pain. That's pain. That's pain. Tobin the legend. Right, let's expand this. And I'm going to give my mechs time to be able to fix this as well. Why am I not seeing these getting fixed? Because we don't have the materials. We need this out of granite. 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 Down here. I should be good because... No, I didn't change all this. Granite wall, granite wall, granite wall. That just needs to be wood. We have got wood, question mark. Yes, we do. Then I'm going to grab all... Draft, undraft. You're now doing that. Max. Why have I got a constructor down? A constructor was over... Ah, trying to repair that. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Right, come on. We need to get down here. Right, there are a few entities around. It looks like they are spawning as well. They still have the sight stealers. So if there's any sight stealers, they will have to deal with them. Just ignore my partner having a allergic reaction. Sneeze in the background. She doesn't know what's at stake. Right. We've got this flank sorted. If they keep summoning entities, we might be okay. Right. So, we've got now a mech problem. Want to see how I fix it? Have I got enough time? No. Animals. If they move away from the tower, I will activate the tower. How long until I can sort out another mech for it? 1.6 days. Okay. Let's go speed free. This is fine. They're wasting all their time chasing all the entities off me. The entities are what going to breach my walls. As long as entities keep coming on the map, the mechs will keep running over them to deal with them. When they leave that tower, I'm turning the tower on. I'm waiting until they move far enough away because to deal with the mechs, I need to do what we're doing anyway. We need to activate these towers so these mechs going around and... The warped obelisk cracks with energy as it warps around itself. All manner of creatures are beginning to disappear and will soon vanish entirely. Remove this by attacking it. Entering the Libra. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, we've all been sucked in. Dead ciphers have been pulled in here as well. Right, I'm just going to get out of here as quickly as possible. You'll squeeze me if I don't. Let's start looting here and stuff. I just need to get out. Problem is, I'm pretty sure I lose all these mechs because I won't be able to interact with the thing to actually leave. This is like the worst timing of timings. No idea where this is going to be. Just to force as many doors open as possible, I guess. Okay, found the exit. Might need to exit all at the same time. Might as well on flare pack. Cool. Open that. Void serum. Pick up. 
Right, I know where it is, so now I know how to uh, bring people down to it. Activate. Get in, get in. That was lucky. If you want to see more of me, head down to the description below for my Uncut Live channel where I put all my streams directly on so you never miss anything. If that's not good enough for you, I've even got a Discord. Come treat yourself. Enjoy the rest of your morning, afternoon, evening, whatever you're doing, and I'll catch you next time, party people. Bye.